So I, I first met Steve Stedham around 1980. He's from Las Vegas. It is a time when skateboarding was dead. What you didn't see too often was just somebody you didn't know show up. It was pretty apparent that he was dedicated. Really good, super strong, fast skater. Steve Stedham is significant in more ways than his skating. If you're from an area like I'm from, you know, you're constantly being told, man, that is a white boy sport. You're not thinking about it, but everyone else is kind of always throwing it at you and making you feel like, uh, you know, what, what am I doing? Instead of you get the bad brains, it's like, no, it's not. Look, everybody does it. But that was important. It kind of got people off your back. to get dreadlocks, but I could never get them because of Steve. Stedham. Stedham was amazing. I toured with him a lot and big fan. He showed us the proper way to do backstab boneless. I think Stedham probably held the record for the longest board slide Delmar Skate Ranch. All the way across the face wall. I watched the Powell Peralta video religiously on VHS tape. Obviously, excited to see a brother on the big screen. Long board slides, done at top speed, done the right way. Um, really good looking airs. Uh, everything that he did was uh, had a lot of power to it. So he definitely had a, a great style. Dude, I love Steve Stedham skateboarding. He was a, he's an amazing dude. Amazing board slides, fantastic frontside inverts, great backside airs. Very, very powerful speed lines, carving, going fast approach to skateboarding. He's a very important skateboarder. I think he, he brought a lot of intensity and, and weight to skateboarding. 